everybody, welcome back to Mixed Drink Monday. I am Julie Vinicampi, the Wine and Spirit Sales Manager here at Donwell Distributing. And today we are making a twist on a Bloody Mary. So as many of you know, most of the time we use vodka in a Bloody Mary. However, that vodka is a neutral spirit, so to add a little bit more flavor, we are going to make our Bloody Mary with Pinky Bend American Gin. So yes, everyone thinks that vodka is the hair of the dog to put in your Bloody Mary. Gin just adds a much different like depth and distinctiveness. And even if you don't really like gin, the real juniper type flavor is kind of muted by the Bloody Mary mix. So it just is a little bit different of a flavor, but very, very, very tasty. So like I said, we'll be using the Pinky Bend American Gin and we are also using Stout Bloody Mary mix. So Stout Bloody Mary Mix is a fairly new product for us here at Donald Distributing, and this is a craft Bloody Mary Mix. It has absolutely everything in it that you could need. You don't have to add a thing seasoning-wise. It has um, apple cider vinegar, which kind of sets it apart from some other Bloody Mary Mix. Spanish paprika, I mean the celery salt, everything is in there. It's a little bit spicy and a little bit smoky, so it's also really, really good in chili or on ribs or chicken when you're grilling. So just some different ideas. So let's get started. So we're gonna make our gin Bloody Mary. These are also sometimes known as red snappers, but if you go to a restaurant and order a red snapper, people might look at you funny. They might not know. So you just take your <coughs> shot of Pinky Bin American Gin, put it in a glass of ice, give your Bloody Mary mix a good shake, Fill your glass the rest of the way. This is so tasty. And then, because as you know, we absolutely love garnish. And who doesn't love a garnish on their Bloody Marys? So while we know celery sticks and stuff are the traditional, we are going to go with a lime, a wedge of lemon today, a dill pickle, because why not? and bacon. Everything's better with bacon, so this Bloody Mary is no exception. And we'll just kind of load it up with the bacon. And that's it, that's perfect. A red snapper or a gin Bloody Mary. Enjoy.